August 27th, uh, here with SEI Coat. We applied four different panels yesterday. This panel, you can see the darkening, is the GPA 300 graffiti proofer direct to the substrate. Solvent-based products direct to a mineral substrate will wet out the substrate. This is why we have the dark look there. Moving to panel two, we put one coat of our sealer down, a very light coat of the sealer, SCS002 SP, which is a bonding agent for the proofer, but also maintains the color integrity of the substrate. If you go to this line up here, you can see that the color differentiation from here to here is much less than from here to here. Now to panel three, we've got two coats of our sealer and one coat of our proofer. So two coats of the sealer, one coat of the graffiti proofer. And at the line of differentiation, you can't tell the difference. Now, there's a little bit of a sheen to these coatings that will dissipate in about a week. On the fourth paneling, we've got two sealer, two proofer. And on a lot of these walls, because they've had graffiti removals done in the past, and to be honest with you, the graffiti removals that have been done have been far too harsh. The rest of the panels have not been coated. These have been graffiti, and you can see where the pressure washer, the chemicals have carved out of the concrete. You go back to this panel, the darker area is the area that's been previously carved out and also sort of gets a better wetting out of the substrate when the coating's applied, so that looks like it's enhanced. But the bottom line is, is that if we go back to panel three, this is the exact aesthetic that someone that, that the goal should be. So now that we've proved these, we're going to go ahead and tag them, spray graffiti all over them, and then we're going to do some quick removals. And obviously the panels are going to be here forever for sky trains and so on and so forth to continue testing. Rust-Oleum Industrial Black Spray Paint. Panel 3 is the panel that we like that's most aesthetically pleasing, so we're going to tag this one. For today, we'll keep a small tag going. We've got a painter's touch and a trim flat. those sit and dry for about an hour and then we're going to do a removal with a dry paper towel, dry cloth only. Okay, um, it's been uh, what, about an hour and a half since we put this graffiti on. We're just going to do a quick removal with a dry rag just to make sure that we're getting the release properties that we want off of the substrate that has the best uh, color matching and, and maintain the best color integrity that we had with our sealer and our proofer. So, I'm just dry, dry cloth here. And you can see the, the graffiti, the paint, can't gain any adhesion to the substrate because of the proofer's release characteristics. There's no product on the market that can come close to this kind of removal performance with a dry rag. This takes the graffiti removal from a contractor to a general maintenance task for removal. So now that we've done some removal with a dry rag, just to get the full feeling of a commercial removal, we're going to uh, pressure wash the rest off.